happening today. A huge house guest moving into the Field Museum. Crews will begin construction of the biggest dinosaur ever discovered. CBS 2's Lauren Victory live on the museum campus with more on that massive display. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Aaron and Marissa. So massive that this guy's name is Maximo. We just have some big equipment arriving here that's going to actually be lifting part of Maximo up his 15 foot vertebrae, taking the piece to the front door, then rolling it inside. It is 2,000 pounds for one piece and too big for the freight elevator. Here's what Maximo will eventually look like in Stanley Hall. He's 122 feet tall, which scientists say is the length of two CTA buses. Maximo is a titanosaur. That's a plant eating dino discovered in Argentina. Crews will be assembling a 70 ton cast of his body made out of six different skeletons today. Maximo will stand in the same spot previously occupied by Chicago's most famous dino, Sue. She pales in size compared to him, but scientists promise she won't be forgotten. In fact, Sue is getting her own exhibit. There's going to be a better moment of encounter, I think, for visitors to come face to face with Sue and see them in a space that they're going to be the rock star and the star of that space. But back to Maximo, you can come see him getting lifted into the Field Museum in just about an hour. Scientists say they'll begin building him from his feet up. The public can see him fully constructed on June 1st. I'm Lauren Victor reporting live outside the Field Museum, CBS 2 News. Aaron. My son is so excited. Lauren, thank you. <laughs>